These airborne laboratories capture critical weather information from all corners of a storm. This crisscross pattern that you see here allows for weather conditions to be sampled at different altitudes and quadrants of a hurricane. At this stage, the storm could be rapidly strengthening. Significant drops in pressure and increases in wind speed are adding stresses to the aircraft. Now, the crew can experience extreme turbulence with drops in altitude of hundreds of feet in a matter of seconds. The plane descends to 10,000 feet so they can punch through the eye wall, the strongest part of the storm where winds can exceed 150 miles per hour. And just like that, conditions go eerily quiet. The clouds clear above them as the air descends into the center of the storm, creating a stadium effect, where the towering clouds of the eye wall surrounding the storm's clear center and create the look of a stadium. Wow, you could see all the way to the blue sky. At this point, the navigator marks the center of the storm, an important waypoint for predicting the future path of a hurricane. While a device known as a drop zone is released from the belly of the plane, this little instrument transmits crucial weather data back to the plane as it falls all the way down to the ocean surface. That data is analyzed by meteorologists and computers back at the National Hurricane Center, helping to create the updated forecast that you see at home so you can make informed decisions ahead of the storm.